What's up guys, it's Ethan, Ian, and Nikki from Park Hop Till We Drop, and today we've got another hotel review for you guys to check out. We're going to be looking at the Hilton Garden Inn at SeaWorld. This is going to be the closest Hilton property to SeaWorld that you can stay at. It's also one of the closest hotels in general to SeaWorld that you can stay at. It's well within walking distance, about a 10 minute walk, a 4 minute drive to SeaWorld. We're going to take a look at all the amenities, let you guys know if we think this is the right hotel for you. I want to let you know there was no resort fee and no parking fee, and we're going to talk about everything that this hotel has to offer, and we're getting into it right now. Alright, so first things first, and this is probably one of the biggest selling points for this hotel, we're going to look at its proximity to SeaWorld, because if you're coming to stay, that's what you want to know. So as you guys can see, those roller coasters right there, that is actually SeaWorld. It's literally a 10 minute walk. The biggest part of your walk is going to be walking all the way across the parking lot at SeaWorld. It is one of the closest hotels to the park. There are a few that are a little bit closer, but for the price, you're probably not going to find one closer. This is the closest Hilton property to the park. So if you're like a Hilton Rewards member or anything like that, and you always stay at Hilton, this is the closest Hilton. So as you guys can see, super close. It's one road right leading to it, right from the hotel. A very easy walk to the park, to and from, no problems there. So, so far the check-in process was really nice and easy, no problems there. The lobby looked really clean. They have a pool and a hot tub here. The pool is heated, hot tub was up and running. Uh, hot tub's open till 10. Oh my God. Is there, there is, there's a small child living in our room already. Oh my God. Ethan has found a pretty good hiding spot there. Along with some nice lamps. So as you guys can see, we have one king bed in this room, and that is a pull-out uh, couch bed sofa. So plenty of room. Room is pretty spacious. So far, I'm really, really happy. It's clean. It was quiet. We haven't slept here yet, so uh, obviously I have to tell you what that's like. And you have a nice like little workstation table over here, which I will probably be using when I edit some videos from SeaWorld tonight. Over here, we have a fridge. We have a microwave. I really like that they're putting microwaves in because a lot of people are buying food and they have leftovers and you have no way to heat them and it sucks. So they have a Keurig machine. So if you're into Keurig, they've got you covered here. They have a pretty good size closet for storage. Let's take a look inside. There we go. So they have an iron and iron board and you can obviously hang up like anything you need to hang up in there. So it is like a tub shower combo, so that's kind of nice. So if you have small children, you can always give them a bath, or if you're just here to take a shower, no problem. So yeah, um, so far pretty impressed. Um, it was relatively cheap. The room was like 80 bucks with tax and everything out the door, and it's very, very close to SeaWorld. Like I said, we were basically right across the street. Okay, show us. Something under the couch? Yeah, do you want to find out? What'd you find out? This is actually a bed couch. You could turn into a bed and your couch. Oh my god. Are you gonna sleep on that tonight? Yep. Boom. So that's your little bed couch? Yep. It's a couch and a bed, but you don't know it's a bed. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Fifty bucks says he never turns that into a bed. He will pass out right on that couch just like it is. 50 bucks, telling you right now. Every time. I will have video later of Ethan passed out on that couch, not as a bed, because it will happen. I'll guarantee it. No, you got to turn it into a bed. Or else I won't sleep. Oh, you'll sleep. He'll be sleeping before we even get back. What an amazing night here. The beds were super comfortable. Breakfast was okay for COVID. I mean, it's not a hot breakfast, but they did have bagels. Uh, and juice and yogurt and all that kind of stuff fruit uh, so it wasn't horrible it just wasn't like a hot breakfast all right so because of covid they're doing things a little different so when you come down you're gonna have a few selections you can choose a bagel you can also choose 
water and you get yogurt and then on top of that you can get some fresh fruits they have like bananas and oranges and apples so not too bad over on the other side you're gonna see a toaster and you can actually toast your bagel and they have all of the stuff to put on your bagel like your cream cheese and your jelly and all that stuff you know it's it's hard to find a hot breakfast now with COVID and everything going on it's, it's not that easy anymore so um, but the pool is open the hot tub is open the gym is open so obviously they have a fitness center so pretty nice couple treadmills an elliptical bike free weight so yeah pretty nice I mean nothing crazy nothing special but it is open which is nice even during COVID so you can still access it yep. some Lysol wipes in here Lysol wipes that's always good um, they do have meeting rooms here in case you're interested in that the bar is open the bar is also open and they have like a full size like full on bar bar here so so they have a really nice bar area here. It's currently not open because it's like first thing in the morning, but they do have it. Full service liquor bar, and it is open. So it's something that you can definitely come down, check out, have a few drinks. So very, very nice. Even during COVID, and they have all these barriers up, like keep you separated. So they're definitely doing their due diligence as far as that goes. So uh, yeah, and it was really nice. So. I definitely recommend this hotel. We had no issues whatsoever. Uh, everything in the room was fantastic. The beds were comfortable. Like it did say, they are a bit on the firm side. So if you don't like a firm bed, you may not be super, super happy with that, but they are a little bit firm. So just throwing it out there, trying to give you guys as much information on the hotel as I possibly can. Uh, like I said, it is about a 10 minute walk to SeaWorld or about a four minute drive. So uh, we did drive home from SeaWorld last night and it was four minutes. Uh, that's in traffic, so it's, it's super, super close. So we were very, very happy with this hotel. And like I said, the price was right. It was about 80 bucks to stay here. So pretty good deal this close to the park. So if you guys are looking for a hotel near SeaWorld, I would definitely recommend checking out the Hilton Garden Inn. It is definitely, definitely nicer than the Doubletree by SeaWorld which is right down the road. We did a review on that not too long ago and we had a really, really bad experience there. I would definitely recommend this hotel over that hotel in a heartbeat. And I'll actually leave a link to that video uh, right up here in the corner somewhere. Uh, that way you guys can check it out if you wanna see why we had a bad experience at the Doubletree. Uh, like I said, that hotel is super close to SeaWorld. It is a much longer walk than it is from here. So this hotel is actually much closer and the actual hotel experience itself has been much better. We had no issues with parking. The room was much nicer, definitely not dingy. Uh, like I said, there were some mold type issues and stuff at the, uh, the Doubletree Hotel that we stayed at. So if you guys wanna check that video out, like I said, I will leave a link to it. Guys, I did wanna let you know that there is no resort fee here and we also did not pay for parking, but they do take a $50 incidental out, but you will get that back after checkout. Cool, so they have a pool, obviously, and a hot tub. Pool looks really, really nice. I don't see any issues there. Sorry, it's probably pretty windy. Uh, we had a really nasty storm come through, so it's still kind of blowing through. Hot tub looks good. Yeah, you guys can see the storm. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty nasty last night. That's about it for us. Uh, so hopefully you guys like the review. Make sure you give the video a like and uh, think about subscribing because we do this a lot. We do a lot of hotel reviews and all kinds of theme park stuff. And if you guys aren't subscribed, you'll miss out on some of our new videos. So you definitely don't want to do that. So make sure you hit subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. So I did want to mention the only thing that I did not like about this hotel was they did not have any USB chargers in the room. So if you're planning on coming, make sure that you actually bring the part that plugs into the wall because they don't just have like the USB chargers that I really, really love laying all over the place. So I did want you guys to know that. It's definitely not a reason to not stay here, but I did want to mention it. That way you don't show up thinking you're just going to plug a USB into something and not have one. Uh, although there is a quick tip, there is a USB on the back of the TV. So if you are in a bind, you can plug uh, whatever you need to charge into the USB on the back of the TV just so you guys know, a little quick tip for you.